Hello, my name's Michelle Robinson. I'm the author of Do Not Disturb the Dragons and I thought I would read you the very first chapter to give you a little flavour of what it's about. It's all written by me and the lovely illustrations on the cover and all the way through, lovely illustrations of the characters and the scenes of Wondermere are by Sharon Davy. And uh, I'm going to show you a bit of Sharon's drawing while I tell you the story or maybe after, let's see. Here we go, this is chapter one. Do not disturb the dragons. It was the first and most important rule in Wondermere. Do not disturb the dragons. The other 946 rules were there to make sure the first rule was never broken. Rules like, do not distract the knights who guard the dragons. Do not dilly-dally beneath the castle turrets. And definitely do not attempt to climb them. Seriously. Don't even think about it, especially you, Princess Grace. No kidding, that one time was enough. To be fair, Grace was only two years old when she'd climbed up into the dragon's nest. Too young to know any better. And she wasn't a princess at the time. In fact, she'd never been to the castle before. She'd arrived on the orphan cart. The guard knights were so busy cooing at the other babies, they'd momentarily forgotten all about the dragons. They didn't notice Grace slipping out of the cart, toddling across the courtyard, gazing up at the tallest turret. The turrets of Wondermere Castle were much like those of any other, except for the dragon's nests right at the top. They made the perfect nesting site. They were the highest point for miles giving the dragons a clear view over their hunting grounds. The dragons hunted for sparkle, and they didn't have to go far to find it. The surrounding forests were coated in pixie dust. The hills wore soft blankets of sparkling spangle moss. Gold, diamonds and rubies glittered in every rock, stone and pebble, from the south coast to the north. Even on a dull day, Wondermere put on the glitz and the dragon's nests gave the biggest bling of all. Grace had never seen anything so sparkly. A particularly chunky diamond seemed to wink at her. The nest looked so pretty and cosy, much more appealing than the back of a crowded cart. The guard knights were distracted. Grace dilly-dallied, but not for long. She started to climb the turret. Grace wrapped her pudgy little hands around the thick tangle of honeysuckle and ivy and began to shimmy up. By the time the guard knight had spotted her, Grace was already halfway to the top. At least she was heading towards an empty nest. The dragon it belonged to was out hunting. The others were dozing in their own turret top nests, their great scaly tails wrapped around their treasures. Even so, getting Grace down was a serious challenge. Climbing the tower was easy enough for a little girl, especially a brave and curious one like Grace. It was not so easy for a full-grown man in armour. By the time the guard knight called for help, she'd managed to clamber right into the nest. She seemed quite happy there, playing with jewels and coins. But if the dragon who collected them came back... King Wonder himself ordered his entire band of knights to fetch the infant down. The men formed a human ladder that clanked and clanged and wobbled, but held fast as the bravest knight clambered to the top. By the time he reached her, Grace was covered in coins and gemstones and dragon's toenails, stuck to her baby soft skin by dragon poo. And every single one of these things was said to bring good luck, even the poo. Judging by the state of her, Grace must be the luckiest girl in the kingdom. At least, that's what the knight said as he handed her gently over to the king. And so it was that Grace came to live in Wondermere Castle. She was adopted by King Wonder himself and raised as a twin sister to the little Princess Portia. Eight happy years passed. Princess Portia and Grace became best friends. Grace adored her sister and the king, who was the most wonderful father anyone could have wished for. Perhaps she really was the luckiest girl in the kingdom. 
but she would happily have swapped her life of luxury for a unicorn and a suit of armour. The knight who rescued her had made quite the impression. Such bravery, such selflessness, such fun. Serving the king, guarding the dragons, riding a unicorn across the realm. Grace longed to do it all. But that's where her luck ran out. She might not have known the rules when she first arrived at the castle, but she was all too familiar with them by now. Girls do not become knights. So that was chapter one of Do Not Disturb the Dragons by me, Michelle Robinson, brilliantly illustrated by Sharon Davy. And the cover, actually, the new cover doesn't look anything like this. You'll have to check it out on Waterstones. Do Not Disturb the Dragons is published on the 9th of July.